Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Femke and in today's video I'm going to swatch and review the Essence Clean and Strong nail polishes. I think this is like a separate collection that they have in their regular nail polish collection and they are in stores right now. But if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you would like to do so and of course become a part of my little nail family here at YouTube. As usual, I'm going to swatch them on a little nail wheel. It's just really easy to do so. And you have a full on overview of all of the colors at the end. This first one is a very, very sheer one. It actually says so like in brackets behind the name. This one is called Pink Clouds. It's the first out of seven colors. And the eighth color in this collection is more of like a glittery shimmery top coat. Um, you can wear it on its own, but I think it's very pretty to use it as a special effect shimmery top coat. But back to this color, because I am going to do two coats of each and every single color. First, of course, doing the first coat of every single color. But this one definitely is very sheer. It is one of those polishes that is beautiful to do like a milk bath design with. And you can build up the color a little bit more if you apply a second or a third thin coat. It is a very light pink color. So it's pretty much perfect for like a French manicure as well. The second one I'm showing here already is called Moony Fog. This is a beautiful nude, very wearable kind of color. It is a little bit sheer on the first coat, but not bad at all. The substancy of this particular collection by Essence Cosmetics is a little bit more watery than what I'm actually used to seeing from them. But that is mostly because I use the Shine Last and Go collection a lot, which is their main like nail polish collection I'd say that they have in their own whole brand I really love those those are super opaque most of the times and yeah they are just pretty epic in my opinion but let's get back to this third color that I'm going to apply the first coat of already it's called a rainy bay it is a very light grayish bluish kind of like gloomy weather kind of color but still on the lighter side i think this is a very wearable polish as well to be honest all of the colors in this whole collection are pretty wearable maybe even a little boring to some people's opinions and personal tastes but i think you can never go wrong with a very nice selection of like easy to wear colors especially if you're not allowed because of work or college school whatever to wear super bright colors i think this is a very nice collection next up is a little bit of a brighter color but still very wearable in my opinion this one is called brisk dawn i really love colors like these they're always like very spring like and you can do some really cute floral designs with this one it is a still quite watery in substancy just like all of the other colors in this particular collection but i do feel like this one has a little bit more pigment to it so it will be opaque faster or quicker however you want to call it i really do feel like most of the colors from this particular collection are completely opaque in just two coats apart from the first one of course which is already noted as a sheer polish the next one is a gorgeous gorgeous red and usually i don't wear reds a lot because they tend to stain my nails and i'm not really into that <laughs> but this one is very gorgeous it is called loud poppy and once again as you can see here on the brush already it is quite watery in substance but it does give a decent color payoff I have to be honest, I'm not quite sure if this one will be completely opaque with two coats if you apply it on top of your own natural nails, especially if you have longer nails like I do. I tend to, or at least I prefer to not see my natural smile line peeking through and I think this is one of those colors that will need at least like three coats to make it completely opaque and not have anything like peeking or shining through. But other than that, it's a very beautiful red color. Another gorgeous red tone is a Vibrant Magma. I actually got this one from my Essence Cosmetics 
I think it was the fall winter update collection, which my regular PR company sent out to me that was in that little box. If you want to see more about the fall winter collection products from 2020, do check out that video. I do that like twice a year, every time they come out with a new like collection update. But other than that, I actually bought the colors myself <laughs> just to put it out there. I'm just a big nail polish collector, hoarder, enthusiast. So yeah, I'm a big, big fan of Essence Cosmetics as it is. So I tend to get a lot of their polishes. The next one is Juicy Terra. And this is one of those mauvey, purpley, kind of browny wearable nude kind of tones. It's a little bit more dark than a regular nude, I'd say, but that's not a bad thing, <laughs> especially for a fall winter collection. And these are still available as we speak, by the way, it is just the 2nd of January. Now I'm recording this voiceover. They're still available. Um, by the way, these are only 199 in euros, so they are quite inexpensive if you ask me. And as usual, they have a very nice brush as you might have already already seen while swatching these polishes. The eighth and final polish in this collection is actually a top coat. It has biodegradable shimmer in there, beautiful golden, kind of like a soft sheer, very finely milled shimmery like base color. And then there are some bigger specks of shimmer or almost glitter in this polish, super gold. There's a little bit of sh um, like uh, silver shimmer going on in this one as well. You will definitely see that once I have applied this color on the colored polishes I've just swatched as well. I will do that at the end of the video, just swatch half of the nail with this top coat just to show you what it does on top of other colors and so on. But as you can see, it is a very, very beautiful shimmery top coat, very wearable as well. But let me just swatch the second coat of all of these colors just to show you what they all look like. As you can see here, that very first super sheer polish, it does have a pinky tone to it, a very soft, like girly baby pink kind of color. I think this color is just perfect for milk bath nails, or if you want to add just a little bit of pinkish milky tint to your natural nails to make it look super natural, almost like a no polish manicure or something like that. But yeah, I pretty much think it's very pretty, very wearable. It's not really my personal style because as I mentioned in this video, as well as previous videos, I love my polishes to be kind of like pretty much completely opaque, I'd say. But yeah, you can see here that the other colors are very much opaque with that second coat. But let's continue with the four final colors. This loud poppy color is so beautiful. It really is a beautiful classic red. But as I mentioned earlier in this video, I am kind of doubting if it will be completely opaque on my length of natural nails with just two coats. I think I might need a third one. That beautiful, vibrant magma color, I'm just... Oh, it's gorgeous. Even though the holiday season is like over, Christmas is over, New Year's Eve is over and so on, I think it is a very gorgeous color to actually use next month for Valentine's Day designs and so on. That mauvey kind of tone is very wearable. I think that one is a color that will sell pretty easily because it is quite wearable and a lot of skin tones will look beautiful with that color. But yeah, here you can see a little overview of all of the colors with just two coats, as well as, of course, that shimmery top coat. It's just so gorgeous. Like, I love it. Usually I'm not really a gold kind of person. I'm more of like a silver loving kind of girl. But I think this one is very beautiful and very like easy to um, apply on top of a lot of different colors because there is like the warmer gold kind of tones in there as well as the cooler silver tones. But as I mentioned, I am going to do a little swatch on top of all of the colors I just swatched as well with that top coat just to show you what it looks like with other colors underneath. Of course, you can use it on its own. That's totally up to you if you want to do so, but I think it looks very pretty actually on 
any kind of color really it just gives a little extra bedazzling you know i think it's really pretty and yeah it's not as in your face as a regular like glittery polish would be it is very like subtle just delicate and yeah i pretty much love it i also think it looks really beautiful on top of those red colors especially the darker like vibrant magma kind of tone it is quite festive quite christmassy looking but i think it is just a really gorgeous combination and yeah, of course, you can wear any color any time of year if you feel like it. As I always mention, there are no rules to nail art. You can just wear whatever you like. Of course, always keep in mind if you do have a specific job where you're not able or not allowed to wear very bright colors or anything like that. Always keep that in mind. Don't lose your job over nail art. But I have to mention, I actually did pass on really good jobs because I wasn't like allowed to wear nail polish so yeah hmm i guess that is just how much i love to do my nails and wear nail polishes so yeah that was already the entire swatch and review video let me know what you think about this collection and if you have some yourself thank you guys so so much for watching i love you so so much and as usual i hope to see you in one of my next videos